Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a uh, Jiren that goes into a full power. Jiren is coming in from T. I'm calling you T because I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I am so sorry, bro. <laughs> Send me custom cards at bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can go ahead and review a card in the near future while I get all these older cards out the way. If you send me multiple cards, which T did, I'm going to write you down on my uh, notepad, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the gist. The custom card email is all the way at the bottom of the screen. It just slides in and slides out. I'm experimenting with editing. I'm not a great editor, so I want to get better at it. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what T has to say in the email. So he says, hello, I want to send you my custom cards from Universe 11. So it's just a little bit of a typo. I think he just meant I wanted to send you my custom cards from Universe 11. After when I see EZA for STR Jiren, then I made this. So it's another typo. He said after when he saw uh, STR Jiren's um, EZA. You guys get what he's trying to say. Um, and he says, have good day. Hey, I'm having a good day so far. I just woke up. Um, funny enough, I'm, I'm eating breakfast right now. So... <laughs> I'm eating breakfast, got my water, you know, we keep it, you know, keep it a little healthy, keep it healthy around here. Anyways, I forgot to write down his, uh, him and his cards, but we're going to do that after the video. We'll do it off camera. So anyways, uh, let me just go ahead and pull up his card. All right. So he said he saw a Jaren's EZA, right? I did read this card before I started recording and I did pull up the 200% of this going The 200% of this go is very, very small with what I just noticed. Uh, and I think that Jiren has better, like STR Jiren, just comparing it to this card just for a quick second. I feel like this guy has a easier time activating his offensive abilities than this guy does. That's not important though. It's just something I wanted to point out as well as me keeping this STR Jiren EZA up so I don't have to go ahead and do some weird editing with the, uh, the email address because I had to do a little blur box, like a, like a scrolling blur box, and I have no idea how to do that, guys. I am not a great editor. I will be the first to tell you that. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's see what this Jiren is looking like. Excuse me, I'm, I'm like still waking up and pff, this food is getting to me. All right, so Dokkan Fest exclusive Int Jiren. His leader skill is Universal Survival Saga, or full power, three key and one 70% across the board. And the additional 30% of the stats is to Universe 11 and Realm of Gods. Now, I will go off and just say that this team is carried by a handful of units, that being Tech UI, AGL Jiren, both the six year EZAs, Evo Ken, you have STR UI right here. Uh, you have this Tech LR Jiren too. You have Topo, you have Dispo. Uh, who else do you have here that I'm looking over? I mean, you do have this guy, but I feel like this guy. This guy would definitely work with this Jiren we're going to be talking about because Jiren wants a bunch of Universe 11 characters, especially you. You are low-key, low-key a, a sleeper free-to-play unit. You might get a video for my unit review. I got to do a unit review too. I'm going to do a unit review tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to do one tomorrow because I've been keeping up with the weekly unit reviews. Hey, because remember, like a couple weeks ago, I did AGLR Jiren and then uh, last week I did the hit. Did I do hit last week? I'm pretty sure I did hit last week. And this week, I'm going to most likely do Castro. I'm just doing a bunch of random ass units. Um, I really have to make like a chart, like a big chart and like check off all the units I've already done and then get to the units I haven't done. Okay. But yeah, as you guys see, this category is like uber small. And then we have the man himself. We have STR Jiren right there. <laughs> so back on over to this card. Let's go ahead and see what we are looking at. Okay. So his super attack effect, there's no name for it. It's just he gets 30% attack and defense for one turn. Does immense, greatly lowers enemy defense, as well as a 50% chance to stun. And his passive, he activates his, his interest animation, of course, and gets 11% damage reduction for five turns and gets one key and 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. So of course, his interest animation buff is good considering now he's getting a, a multi-turn amount of... Uh, damage reduction he also gets 11 percent damage reduction up to 55 percent per universe 11 category ally on the team so you pretty much want a full universe 11 team which he did make like a bunch of like universe 11 cards he made a cash still if you want to pause and read it go right ahead uh I'll give you guys a couple more seconds okay and it has stats there too he also made a lr agl god topo if you want to pause and read it go right ahead i, I have no idea what this card does 
I'm gonna wait till later on down the line for me to read this card. So, but if you wanna like read it now, go right ahead. And this is uh, Jiren's art, by the way, that is fire for the Dokkan Fest exclusive Jiren. Um, there, there's his uh, art after his active skill, which is cool. And then, uh, is this from like the little Dragon Ball card game? This is Castrol's uh, art. <laughs> and this is Topo's art, that is fire. Okay, so yeah, he does come with a banner unit as well as a, uh, what is that, like a gold coin LR? Because 150% of the stats. Anyways, he does drop with three other cards for his uh, celebration. So, um, back on over to his card, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it again. So, he gets 110% defense when performing an attack, which is obviously nice, considering that he's getting 30% attack and defense on super for one turn, and getting 110% defense when he's performing a su uh, super attack, or just an attack, whatever. It says attack, so it's going to say when he's attacking. <laughs> Uh, he also builds up 11% attack up to 77% per attack received, which should be very easy for him to take because he gets up to 66% damage reduction from his interest animations buff, all the way over to him having a full universe 11 team. He also has a 50% chance to do an additional super, which is nice for him just to have in his back pocket so he could double super and get more defense. And he has a 70% chance to crit when the enemy is stunned. And he's effective against all types when facing a universal survival saga category enemy. So he's effective against all types when facing a universal survival saga category enemy. And he has a 70% chance to crit when the enemy's stunned. So I'm going to put this over here for just a second. So I don't know why, but I had pulled up this STR Jiren. Um, with STR Jiren... <laughs> SCR Jiren gets a guaranteed crit when enemy stunned. Right? Now granted, Jiren can more than likely get that off because, well, within a specific scenario where you can stun the enemy because he has a 30% chance to stun the enemy when he just opens up on the turn, of course, and he has a 50% chance to stun the enemy when he's doing a super attack. So he can very easily get this off. He has a guaranteed crit when the enemy stunned. So that's just why does he have a higher uh, why does he have a guaranteed crit when this guy has a 70% a chance to crit? It's a custom card. It's a custom card. I know I get it. You know, stupidly broken custom cards. It's like, you know, some people, believe it or not, some people don't really care for stupidly broken custom cards. You'd be surprised. But uh, this guy, like, should definitely have a guaranteed crit. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, definitely. If this garbage easy A, because didn't he say in the email he saw this guy's easy A and then he made like a, a Jiren? So this guy should definitely have guaranteed crit for a stun. Considering that he has a, his only stun proc is inside of a super attack vein. And if you don't stun the enemy, there's no guarantee. Well, there's no 70% chance to stun for this guy. Another thing, he's a feather against all types when facing a universal survival saga category enemy. Uh, now I know I'm, I'm just comparing these two with like, uh, like what what's the word offensive abilities like guarantee crit for this guy is better than his 70 percent chance to stun and his effective against all types when facing only one enemy is way easier to get off than this guy having to go up against a universal survival side category now granted this guy is leagues and he just leaps and bounds just overlaps this guy Easily, he shits on STR Jiren, but I just want to point out the fact that it's easier for this guy to get off his offensive abilities than it is for this guy. But does it really matter? No, it doesn't. This guy's getting uh, defensively, he's getting an attack and defensive buff. Well, he's getting a defensive buff mainly because he's not getting an attack buff on his uh, when he's doing a, a attack. So he's getting 110% defense from his passive when he's attacking, he's getting 30% defense on super. Obviously, that's nice. He gets up to 66% damage reduction, and uh, he also has additional super attack chance to support the fact that he can do a double super and get more defense. Um, outside of that, he just has a 70% chance of crit when enemy stunned. Uh, he also is effective against all types when facing a universal spot side category enemy. I mean, that's his only real offensive ability. He also builds up attack when he takes hits, um, but that's, you know, I mean, cool. <laughs> uh, but that is particularly about it for this guy. This guy still sucks, though. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Why is this guy greatly lowering defense? Oh, my God. Don't you? And you greatly lower defense, too? Jesus Christ. Oh, there. It's like, it's like father like son. It's like, <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm playing, I'm playing. This guy's obviously better than SCR Jiren's EGA. Anyways, uh, after skill, transform to full power Jiren. Uh, can be activated from start of fifth turn or when HP is 77%. 
when facing a Universal Swap Saga enemy. It says when HP 77%. I guess when, when HP 77% or more. I guess. Or it doesn't say above or below. So we're just going to assume it's below. Okay, so full power Jiren. He gets a new super attack effect as well as a new passive. So 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn. As well as a 70% chance to stun an enemy while doing immense, of course. He also gets 200% attack and defense at the start of turn which is obviously nice just unrestricted 50 percent damage reduction nice and he also gets 110 percent attack and defense when performing a super attack and he also has a 50 percent chance of launching an additional super he builds up one key up to five which i don't think is going to be pretty useful to him considering the fact that he is a tournament of power character so he's going to very easily get those links off Provided you're running him on like a full universe 11 team, which you're going to want to do it for his pre-transformation. So the key is, I'm going to say it's unnecessary because he's going to be overloaded with key anyways, considering that he has a Topo Pride Troopers character to fall back on, as well as all these other characters. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure these guys are probably support type units, but if they're not, uh, I mean, Terminal Power is enough for this guy. He's like more than enough for sure. Okay. <clears throat> and 100% attack and 50% defense change to crit and guard when there's a universal survival saga category enemy okay and a guaranteed crit and launch an additional super attack when the enemy is stunned now i do like that certainly i do like the uh, the guarantee super more so over the fact of that guarantee crit that guarantee super is definitely going to be really nice for him considering the fact that he'll have that that guarantee super and that uh, additional super attack chance right over here but uh, 50% damage reduction, um, 200% defense, um, 110% defense. I mean, he's getting an attack and defensive buff literally now from his passive to a super attack effect, but he's only getting defensive buff from both to each other for the pre transformation. I mean, post transformation, looking good. I, what, what more can I say? Why does he have double crit? I mean, he has guard, but he has to be up against a universal swap saga enemy. Yeah, he'll be completely fine with just his 50% damage reduction. I love to assume it. So that's really about it, guys. I'm, I think I'm done here. Um, W card. I did uh, not defend STR Jiren. I promise you. I was just saying his abilities to get this offense. <laughs> I think that's going to be about it for me, guys. Uh, There's the stats for my, my stat junkies. His defensive stat is mind-bogglingly high. Crazy high. Okay. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. The email should be scrolled in all the way at the bottom of the screen so I could read your custom card in the future. While I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way, you send me multiple cards. I write it down on the notepad. You guys already know the gist. Join the 24-7 Discord server. The link down below to the Discord server is in the description below. I love you guys. Catch you guys next video. And of course, again, I absolutely love you all. Peace.